another strategy that's very parallel, uh, which has to do with simply stepping back from the emotion and giving it a name, saying, oh, I'm starting to get really anxious now, or oh, I seem to be really angry. And that, um, tell me if I'm wrong, but I seem to remember that this takes energy from the part of the brain that reacts and lessens it there and activates other parts of the brain. Is that what's going on at the brain level with these strategies? Yeah, so in terms of the brain level, uh, your description is, is exactly right. Uh, what we know from the neuroscientific research is that there's a critical circuit that involves the prefrontal cortex and the amygdala. Uh, the amygdala is an area in the uh, limbic system below the highest part of the brain, below the cerebral cortex. And it's a part of the brain which is very importantly involved in emotion. It's particularly importantly involved in detecting threats in our environment. So if there's a threat to the self, the amygdala gets activated. Well, threats to the self in the workplace take a lot of forms, like I didn't get credit for what I did. Um, they aren't treating me fair. Uh, I, I got unfair criticism. Those, those are the kind of threats the amygdala reacts to. A absolutely. And so there, there are definitely workplace settings which are rich opportunities to activate the amygdala. They're known as toxic workplaces. Yes. <laughs> and often they're run by toxic bosses. Yeah. Uh, yes. So to survive an environment which is really tough, and it needn't be a toxic boss, you could just be... Uh, we have too much to do and too little time and too little support, you know, the general stressful reality of the workplace. You're saying, if I hear you, that it's, it's helpful to cultivate the ability to recover quickly. It is helpful, to yes, yeah. to cultivate that ability, and that in part involves the connection between the sectors of the prefrontal cortex and the amygdala.